Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. We've had some Drake Dragonfly question and answer FAQs and that have explained some of the mechanics and function of the Dragonfly dropped this week. So I've compiled them all into an info kind of dump of the two Q&As and some forum posts and kind of any other FAQ thing I could find about the Dragonfly and the Caterpillar and I put them on their own little sections. Notes on lifetime insurance, melting, CCUs and upgrades to start with. CCUs from black to yellow jackets uh, for the Dragonflies or vice versa are free. Grab yourself some so you can switch your Dragonflies back and forth. Also this helps for people that kind of think about getting a Dragonfly in the future um, and want to then upgrade it to the yellow one because the yellow one is concept sale only and, and they're going to be exceptionally rare or quite rare in the verse multi-ship packages and bundles so you can upgrade individual ships in a bundle or multi-ship package separately you cannot melt them separately though you have to melt a whole package if you're melting uh, ships there you cannot separate ships from any multi-ship package basically so you can't gift them individually you'd have to gift the whole package if you wanted to gift them uh, and one of your dragonflies for example in a pack of two couldn't be gifted but you could gift both in regards to equipment and systems for the dragonfly the dragonfly does not carry any form of onboard life support so the pilot and all rider would be dependent on their eva reserves while operating in space or on a planet with a non-breathable atmosphere the dragonfly will have a limited onboard hud uh, which will be able to be displayed directly onto the user's helmet Fuel consumption and expiration range of the Dragonfly is still being worked out. There are some uh, hard limits um, that will be kind of your oxygen uh, and life support on your EVA suit though. The Dragonfly shield gives minimal protection. It can deflect some fire, but it's not going to stand up to any form of direct assault, especially um, dedicated fighters. They're going to rip it a new one. The Dragonfly is only capable of mounting size 1 weapons. Uh, you can swap them out for other size 1 weapons though. Obviously ports and plugs restrictions may apply in the future and um, when they get all that system worked in. There is room though for ballistic ammo too. The second rider and must always face to the rear of the Dragonfly. Basically he can't face forwards. Let's talk about the speed, size, and general handling of the Dragonfly. So the Dragonfly's mass was mis- or incorrectly reported at 6,000 kilograms. It's actually around and closer to 1,000 kilograms. That's a lot lighter than we thought. Uh, this is kind of a relic from when it was being concepted, and one of the original concepts was a lot larger. The Dragonfly is currently has a, a SCM speed of 180 and a cruise speed of 300. Now, that's what just what they're working with in the dev branch at the moment. Uh, it's got high acceleration, though. So the idea here is to outpace slow crawl, like cargo ships and large ships but not fast ships like interceptors or fast dogfighters the exact handling and speed of the dragonfly are still in flux but um at low speeds it should feel nimble kind of um will react quickly for its size but it's going to lose agility at its top speeds but expect extremely potent accelerations uh, and acceleration speeds to its top speed the dragonfly can fly in compact mode as well it's got those three modes um so it can actually go into compact mode and still fly but it will be restricted to precision flight uh until it's been fully deployed on uh the ground or in space scouting wise the dragonfly doesn't have any special equipment um uh, not with stock anyway possibly in the future they might they didn't even say that but i suppose there's possibilities in the future you might be able to put something slightly more scouty on it uh, but scouting wise it's small agile and has a low signature so it's hard to spot uh, between its small size and lower resource cons uh, consumption the dragonfly is going to be really hard to pick up on radar uh, especially at a distance for some this might be the most exciting section uh, will it fit in pocket carrier based things so in regards to the dragonfly being uh, placed and stored on ships basically the dragonfly will need clear access ports inside ships um, they haven't 100% worked out how it's all going to work uh, whether you're going to have a vehicle like port like the grey cat uses in hangars or if you're going to need a full ship port or if you're going to have specialist bays in certain cargo bays um, or if it's just going to be a size based thing they're still also exploring crate storage for 
ship transport. You wouldn't be able to fly uh, the dragonfly easily or at all if it's stored in that crate. Um, it might take time to assemble or you might have to reassemble it back at a dry dock. The dragonfly will not um, be able to be housed in every ship and it cannot latch onto ship's hulls for transport or anything like that. We may be able to operate them in our hangars when they're ready though. Uh, they haven't 100% decided if that's a thing. So CIG at the moment have kind of put ships into three categories on whether they can fit a dragonfly or not uh, for purposes of having them launched as fighters or whatever. Um, so uh, ships that will be able to deploy at least one dragonfly or have the suitability to deploy dragonflies are the Caterpillar, Freelancer, Constellations, uh, Staff Error, Retaliator with cargo modules installed uh, and the Idris P and M. Ships that you will not be able to deploy a dragonfly from um, that have cargo base are the Avengers and the Reliance. Obviously, um, I've put some extra ones here myself. Aurora's Mustangs, um, Merlins, Archimedes, other dragonflies, Hornets, um, people flying around in space, M50s. You need basically at least a cargo bay. Um, and obviously, if they say something weird, like you can put an extra module on your, your Aurora to, to have a flyable bike in the future. I don't know. Maybe they will. Who knows? Uh, and ships who cannot currently fit a Dragonfly or they haven't decided is basically much every other ship. So some of these um, that they've listed are basically they've only listed because they're not fully built out. You've got to remember that a ship, although it might have room to store a dragonfly, it needs to be able to enter and exit the ship easily, safely, sensibly. Um, so the ones that they've said that may be able to have a uh, dragonfly or might not, they haven't decided yet because they haven't been built out, are the Cutlass, the new Cutlass, uh, the Carrack, the Merchantman, uh, the Reclaimer, the Orion, the 890 Jump, the Hull C, D and E, uh, the Crucible, Javelin, uh, the Endeavour and the Genesis. So even in the future, if ships have enough room and can deploy dragonflies, there may be some hard limits. They are thinking of adding a max carry limit to um, ship by ship uh, of X. Uh, but also there will be some form of life support kind of constraints there as well to prevent carrier bloating in regards to the dragonfly's cargo and utility. Because yes, it can carry cargo. The dragonfly has a max cargo capacity of one SCU. Um, Basically, as stock, effectively, it will have two saddlebags saddle uh, with uh, 0.25 SCU containers mounted on them and a one optional 0.5 SCU container taking up the rear seat. So you can either have a second person sitting there or you can have extra cargo. Um, actual cargo-wise, what it's expected to be carrying is small objects, obviously, uh, with most of them being functional um, kind of vehicle class component stuff so that you can either replace it on your vehicle or give you some utility um, around the planet that you might be on. It's enough space to carry some essentials with you is the idea. There was a question asked, will you be able to tow anything behind the Dragonfly? And they said that they're actively looking into low speed operations of a handheld tractor beam for one of the riders, but not in the sense of a deployed tow cable. So there's not going to be able to hitch and ride kind of uh, trailer hitch behind the dragonfly uh, but some form of tractor beam. A few other notes that weren't really mentioned anywhere else. The dragonfly will not be capable of atmospheric flight. Uh, when on a planet's surface it will be operating just on a ground mode. It will be hovering. The ground mode for the dragonfly is planned to be capable of all-terrain travel so you're going to be able to float over bodies of water um, but there will be hazards which could still impact your performance or damage your vehicle. Uh, there are no variants of the Dragonfly currently planned other than those different colours that we've seen, the black and the yellow, and possibly more in the future as we saw in the brochure. The Dragonfly is already being tested in the dev branch of the game. Um, that's some damn quick pipeline work. Uh, and there was one thing that actually wasn't asked that I wish was. Uh, uh, was. That's my new way of saying was. Um, is can we ride that dragonfly wearing armor and if yes what are we restricted to can we wear heavy armor on the bike um i would expect that actually thinking about it we might be able to because you just need to, be able to spread your legs with heavy armor on it doesn't restrict your movement that much but it might i mean it might be 
too heavy for the bike. Who knows? Tell us, CEOG. I will annotate uh, in this section and put it in the description as well when I know uh, what's the restrictions on armor or what's their plan for restrictions. Um, and a few little notes on the Caterpillar as well, as it's in the sale at the same time. Uh, there was a cool picture of the interior of the Caterpillar done um, that someone linked to me, and I don't know who did it, so I'm really, really sorry. Um, uh, but it looks cool. Well done. <laughs> uh, I'll put that in the description. I'll actually put who did that as well in the description. Uh, each cargo module on the Caterpillar can carry at least two dragonflies at the moment. Uh, all Caterpillars sold to date um, in the dragonfly sale, um, up to the dragonfly sale as it were, uh, come with four cargo modules as standard. That's the plans. Uh, and yeah, I suppose that's it. That's all the links to the FAQ and the Dragonflies and the Caterpillar sale and the map and anything else that I could find that was relevant are in the description as well. Um, what do you think of the Dragonfly? Did you get one? Will you be grabbing one in the burst because you don't want to spend $35, which is pretty damn overpriced for a bike? Um, although they are pretty cool. Um, make sure you comment on any of our Star Citizen videos in June for a chance to win a Buccaneer. And July probably will be Dragonflies winning uh, so just do it in both and comment on all the videos and then I, you, you're interacting and i'm happier and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the verse guys thank you so much for watching have a great weekend